Let me introduce you to one of my prized females. This is Teen Williams. Her mother is Foxy Brown, for you guys that know a little bit about my dogs out there. Uh, Foxy Brown is probably my best producer. But I bred Foxy Brown to Rough and Rowdy. And that's how she came about. As you can see, she's uh, full of puppies. And it looks like she's gonna have a ton of them. I hope she does. I bred her to a very, very special male. And uh, I bred that male's father to Foxy Brown. And I have three puppies that I'm very, very proud of right now off of that cross. So this should be more of the same. Line control with speed, good noses, and come back to the point of loss. As far as I'm concerned, that's all a man would want. Those three elements keep a rabbit going, keep the race going. So, um, but what I'm doing today is I am moving her from that location to where I'm gonna let her whip her puppies. What I found out is during the summertime, uh, puppies need to be cool in a cool environment and during the winter time, they need to be in a warm environment. Uh, so I'm preparing a box, a whipping box for her today. Um, I have it in an enclosure, um, a building that I have, um, specifically made for um, getting my mothers out of the elements when it's time to have puppies. I have the, the um, ability to keep it warm or cool it off. So like I said, during the summertime, these puppies need to be cool. So if I have to cut on that air condition, I can. So. I'm gonna go ahead and get her home situated. In about four or five more days, she should be having some babies. This is Teen's new home. As you can see, very nice building, very nice cage. This is where she will be having her puppies in a few days. Uh, as you can see, I have a little hay in there. That was from the last litter, which was born, um, what month was that? That was November, so it was cold. So I had to keep them warm once they got up a little bit. But I'm gonna take that hay out. And, uh, and like I said, uh, she can wean her puppies right there in that whelping box. She can come out and do her business. I can clean everything up. Got a concrete floor right there and it washes down to a drain. So that's her new home. Folks, I'm up in here. I got all the hay out. Uh, now I'm going to um, spray uh, a mixture of water and Clorox one third Clorox to two thirds water. And uh, that should kill anything that will harm the puppies. That is very, very critical. You do not want them to start off the wrong way or not even get a start because you did not clean the box out from the previous whelping. So, Hey, it's a long haul, but this is the very beginnings of making a rabbit dog. Okay, folks, this is just part of what, what it takes to create these dogs around here. Uh, relocating some rabbits today. Actually have to go out and catch them in one spot that's really populated with a bunch of them and um, transfer them to another location that don't have so many. This is uh, one of my running grounds, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. 
you got three little ones and uh, one pretty nice size one. So I think I'll let the big one off right here. I think she's not sure where that rabbit is. There he is right there. He's in there. As you can see, if you can see it. Let me grab him. Hopefully he goes in that little brush pile right there and that'll be his home. Let's see, can we run him out of here? small but will serve the purpose. We got Teen all situated. Just getting familiar with our new home. We'll get you some food in that girl. But she'll be she'll be in there at least a month and a half. So next time we see her we should see some babies. Ain't that right girl? Ain't that right girl? Ain't that right girl? Ain't that right? I'm gonna have some babies. That's right.